はいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいや You reach the point of no return. You keep doing things the wrong way all your life, and life keeps telling you and showing you flags throughout your journey. But because we're stubborn, we choose to ignore those flags or deliberately misread them and expect. Miracles to happen when the shit hits the fan. When you're dealing with human beings, you're dealing with a very, very complex creature. And that creature always gives you signs that I'm not liking what you're doing. I don't accept this behavior. I don't like where this is heading. I am lost. I need guidance. We need to sit and talk. Yet, because we're extremely stubborn and focused on just what we want, not we as an entity, it's what I want. We tend to forget what the other person in the relationship wants or ignore it until we reach to the point of no return. And then we want that person back. Please come back and let's try to fix it. Please come back and let's try to work on it. But I've been telling you for the past 10 years. I've been showing you signs for God knows how long. And you've proven to me and you've showed me and you've led me to the point of no return that you're not interested in what I'm saying, that you don't want to give value to what I want. And then you expect miracles to happen by saying, I'm sorry. You can take this example, trying to make a relationship work. The same example, trying to start a relationship. I get a lot of people inboxing me stories about their crushes, about people that showed them clearly and spoke to them in their face and screamed it that I'm not interested in you and there is no us. So please go your way and let me go mine. But we cling and we hang onto the imaginary painting that we have for ourselves that the other person does not share at all whatsoever with us. Why do we do that? Because we're selfish. Why do we do that? Because I offered you everything and you should eat. And after they eat, they leave. You don't sleep in the restaurant. After you give me all the baits that you're interested, I show you all the signs that I'm not. Yet, you still hang to the hopes and hang to the maybe, and hang to the excuses that you keep telling yourself because you're extremely selfish and stubborn about the idea that you have in your mind. And you want to force the other person to feel the same way, read the same signs, and go towards the same direction you want them to go. But they have a completely different journey. No, it does not work like that. My way or the highway. This is not how life works, especially with human beings. You can if you persuade. You can if you have the value that the other person wants and you're willing to offer it. Not by devaluing yourself and everything you're offering 
on a silver platter for the other person to pick and choose and most of the time taste and then leave because it's an open buffet you eat and you leave you don't have to buy you don't have to sign you don't have to commit but after they leave you get committed to the idea of you taste and you stay <laughs> well, this is not how it works but you want it to work this way because you're the designer of your own imaginary life but unfortunately imaginary life does not equal real life unless or until you face a reality and you become true to yourself and true to everything you're doing and true to your action and most of all true to the value of your offer nobody's gonna pick you up nobody's gonna stay and everybody's gonna leave no there is no magic there ain't no pills for that it's you it was always you you're the cure and you're the cause decide which one you want to be now so you won't have to be stupid later on in the future and regret your actions by staying or leaving this applies to relationships with anything because you're the one who's building that connection with anything you live it, you love it, you learn about it, and you leave it. And you have to decide. Let's make tomorrow a better day.